Watch Point Podcast uh, Episode Two. Uh, I am your host, Poison, aka Poison PS4, aka the Headcaster. I'm kidding, but I'm not. Uh, and I'm here joined by my co-host, uh, Cosmo. And we are gonna be your, your host today. We're gonna be talking about different topics, such as uh, recent game results. Um, PC is coming to watch point. get started with the recent game results for Watchpoint. It wasn't that interesting of a week, if I do say so myself, because the first game, which was supposed to be Cosmic Dragons versus Spikes, uh, the new team Cosmic Dragons coming in with high hopes, but then immediately forfeited. Um, Colomar versus Bra- Brave Vespera, I don't care if I'm botching the name, um, it is happening right now. You can find it on uh, various different uh, web uh, web sites, aka YouTube and and YouTube only, um, and you can, and so Fury versus Ace was a forfeit also, and Royalty versus Apocalypse was the only game that actually happened recently, and my Wi-Fi stunk during it, so, uh, and, uh, Apocalypse, the new team, came in with the win and beat them 3-1, to one, ending, uh, Royalty's winning streak, so, uh, and we move into our second topic, which is going to be question time, which is going to be answering questions uh, with people live. We're going to be starting at the very top with Goose, and he, he says, who do you think will win the All-Star game, Cap- the Captain All-Stars versus Staff All-Stars game uh, next weekend? You can tune into the Watchpoint uh, channel to watch that. And who do you think will win the Captain Staff game? Honestly, I feel like um, the captains are going to take it over the, like, the all-stars, the captains are going to take it, but I feel like the staff is going to be the captains, the regular team. Uh, I, think, and... I think that's going to be a very close match. Oh, yeah, it's, it's going to pull a, a royalty apocalypse. So, <laughs> uh, second question from Ice Breadstick, Yu-Gi-Oh! Or, Yu-Gi-Oh or Dragon Ball Z? I don't think Cosmo knows anime, so I'm just going to do this <laughs> question by myself. I have no uh, idea. I grew I grew up with Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon, so I'm gonna have to say Yu-Gi-Oh. I've watched like two episodes of Dragon Ball Z and did not get into it. But a lot of people say that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is uh, that Dragon Ball Z's first two episodes are trash. So I have no clue. Uh, World's Best says, "Who do you think is the best player from each team?" I'm not gonna do that. I'm only gonna do the best player overall, which is honestly a, a, a the DPS duo, aka OG C Mashed and Phantom who are just all-around great DPS players. But if we're talking about tanks, yeah. Poxel Chan by a landslide, and healers, I have no clue, a.k.a. blame the pad. I think so, pad is, and I'll say Liam. Liam's pretty good. Oh, yeah, Liam is very good. Liam against, what team was it? Got a 4 or 5k, and that just kept us the or, uh, um, first bit. Or so. who was a sub and actually popped off with the alphas. Okay, next yeah. question. Uh, Vasan, I don't care if I'm botching your name because I do not really care. Um, uh, the mm. current state of Overwatch. Um, I'll answer that. I think that Overwatch is in a decent spot. It's keeping their updates, but I think Overwatch Two is going to take it to the next level, and they need to bring that out. And when it does, oh, that definitely. could be something. If, if it drops, like, like if every if like the game like game drops are silent and Overwatch 2 drops everybody's going to yeah. everybody's just going to freak out but they out. need to do it they need to do it at the right time yes they need to f- like and uh, if they drop it in October because that's yeah. when the new Call of Duty is coming out that's when the new Battlefield is supposed to be coming out then it's going to be bad but they need games. to do it they need to do it when it's their game and that's it like everyone else is bored of every other game they drop Overwatch 2 that's going to get everyone playing it mhm and it needs to be a good game all right, so now we have a question from OGC Mashed. Uh, what do you think is uh, about the new team Apocalypse and uh and them beating uh the un then previously undefeated team Royal T? Uh, I feel like they can do a lot, but I feel yeah. like they're we haven't seen their stand. best. We haven't yeah, seen their best. They're gonna we've pull. seen only a couple matches. We don't know how good they are yet. And, I think we need uh, to see more of them. We have we didn't even see the starting lineup because somebody wasn't uh even like their starting lineup was composed of six different people and they had to bring a sub in because that other person wasn't joining. But I feel like they're gonna pull a titan. But I feel like with Aiden at their structure and with a lot of good uh, rounded players, 
then I feel like um they could do stuff. They could they mm-hmm. could be good. Mm-hmm. And I think it was also a very good match, but they did pull through with it and who knows, they could win it. They could still win it. Definitely. Alright. So now we have a question from Ice Breadstick again. We have okay. when is the T one season starting? Uh, we have gotten word that is, uh, it is expected to uh, start uh, around March or April. That's when we've estimated it to start, but it could be delayed or it could be like brought even like quicker. Mm-hmm. Words. Okay, and oh, now we have two questions. No, multiple questions from Phantom Aspects. We have, uh, who do you, who do you? Guys, think are winning the league. Uh, I'm gonna believe they mean tier th- tier three. And who do you think is gonna be in the finals? So I honestly think to win the league, it's 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 too close to call because it's uh, yeah. Apocalypse Royalty and Aces that are all in a three way brawl for it. Uh, yeah. But I feel like either the final Apocalypse, though. Two. Yeah, t- if you have to pick two teams, you think it'd be Apocalypse and Royalty. Mm-hmm. I don't feel well, like aces unless they draft somebody like uh, Cream Pie, who is a free agent, or somebody that's like a really good, well-rounded player. Uh, I don't think mm-hmm. they'll have enough to take it. I think that they need to gel more as a team. They've got the players. They've got the good players, all in their own right. Mm-hmm. But we need to see them as a team play well, and mm-hmm. we can see that forming. But they need to. So now we have a question from uh, a lot of words that I do not know, uh, Mm. a.k.a. uh, uh, Sweaty Hanzo main. So, uh, Sweaty Hanzo one trick, I'm sorry. Uh, Do you Mm. think Bastion needs a buff? Uh, Like, when he's in turret and his, like, gun? No. But I feel like his healing either needs to be deployed faster or give more healing or have more of a, like, more of a duration. But he needs... He uh, needs to be. He needs to be nerfed in the span that either his uh, ammo capacity and turret needs to go down, his damage needs to go down, his rate of fire needs to go down, or his configuration into uh, his turret should be slower. I think the Bastion's gun when he's in turret should do less damage, but then when he's out of turret should do more damage. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Okay, now we have another question from Phantom. What is the current week's meta? Uh, I'm gonna guess they mean in um co- uh, comp. I don't know which, or uh, Overwatch League. I don't know which one they or mean. Or Overwatch but... League. Uh, or it could mean uh just like regular uh Watchpoint League. But I'm gonna guess they mean comp because I do not care. <laughs> but I'd um, say probably McCree May. I think they're both still out on them. Mm-hmm. Because they could run dive because uh, Reinhardt <laughs> is out. But they can't really, if any team is thinking about running an off-brand of Goats, they can't because Reinhardt's out and Moira is out. Same with Ana. Yeah. And that's three main uh, keys of the famous uh, infamous Goats comp. But so, Goats comp is off the table. Dive, you can run a, a Reinhardt in, yet it's not really that effective. But um, you could run a, a Bunker uh, comp. Okay, hold on, I was just looking at some messages. Um, right. Any other questions? Any other questions? Uh, so we have uh, the uh, head admin, uh, Sheriff, saying best tank in tier 3. I'm going to have to say Poxel Chan on the. Like, the self yeah, I can agree with that. placements are phenomenal. Like, Junker Town last week. Every single self-destruct placement on key on in the right location was fantastic. I can agree with that, hundred percent. Um, right, I think we should move on now to the next thing. Anybody uh, that types in, you can type in a uh, question during the podcast. We do have. We're going to be coming back to all the unanswered questions uh, later in the podcast. So stay tuned. So the next thing that we are is on the agenda is. Um, talk about some new skins for art archives, which is uh, I'm going to be passing it over to my good friend and co-host Cosmo. Okay, so 
I first of all want to say that Arco has been a very good event, <coughs> and that I like how they've added some new things with the new like game modes and that. But skins, I'm a fan of the challenges and the first. I don't really. I'm not a fan of the, some of the skins, but the challenges with the first week, which is this week, Symmetra. Her skin, I think, is really nice with the paint and the paint on the gun, so gives some texture onto the gun and not just a plain gun. Really good for a purple skin, I'd say, and a lot better, I would say even better than a lot of her legendaries. I don't really like most of them. Uh, would you agree? What would you say about that? Uh, I'm going to have to say, and I'm going to add something, uh, her teleporter, it looks like really good like at the base. Uh, they could add something for Symmetra, like, her thing has, like, you know, the, like, the little pixels going into it? Those could be, like, different color. Yeah. But other than that, so, well, yeah, that's a... Yeah, I, I see that. Oh, oh, the teleporter. Is that what you mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, then you got, obviously, the May and the Torbjorn skin for the challenges. The May's a bit plain. Not a fan as such. Torbjorn, it's pretty good. It's... All right, I'll say yeah, it's good for a purple skin to be honest. Okay. Moving on to the legendaries and the, the one which we're all caring about, sniper for Anna. What do you think of it first? Because I think it's interesting. Um, I like how it's changed the whole. I, I like it when they change the whole design of the character because obviously Anna's meant to look as some grandma and some old woman with a sniper, pretty much. And they've changed it to have dyed hair and look quite young with the... I don't know how to explain it, really. With a nice brown coat, and I like the skin. King Jamison, the junk rat who has a crown. To be honest, I think they could have done more with this. Fantastic. Yeah, I think they okay, could have done so... more with this skin. Um, I like the idea of it, but for junk rat, they could have added some more Aussie themed or something like that. Moving on to Farah's Aviator. I'm probably butchering all the names, but I like this again. Yeah, they changed the theme of Egyptian, made it uh, look like some weird rock star. Um, and yeah, it's nice black, and yeah, I like it. Militia. Obviously, again, the military theme here. Um, grenade on its front. The gun looks pretty cool with sort of the camo saw theme on it. Yeah, the hook is so it's lovely. You love to see different types of hooks for him. He's a really good and easy to design character, and he's got some weird sharp things if he's about to climb a mountain. Workout for Zarya, one of my favorite skins this season. Um, yeah, just the green Zarya. Don't know how to explain it really. With a vest on. Nice, just overall good her, skin. Her gun looks sick, though. Oh, yeah, I have the golden thread. It makes it look even better. It's Ooh. really good. All right, nice. moving on to the emotes where you have the legendary cat emote. So cute. I can't, can't say anything else. So cute. That's it all you is. can say, really. I have it. I was the first legendary I got. I thought I was going to get a skin, but then I get the cat emote. Not even disappointed with it. Are we going to do the victory I... poses or that? Or should we just move on? I think we can just skip that because it's yeah. not really that much. Yeah, I mean, I never get scared again. Um, Same with the voice lines. Yeah. So, on, next on the agenda... PC. So, now we know that PC is coming to uh, Watchpoint. It's going to bring a new change in it. I think the meta will be different to the PS4 Watchpoint. You will have maybe some different characters coming into the meta because, obviously, some are better on PC. Such as mm. Widow and Genji, but uh, Diva, too. I, I might be put like on PC in that. I might go on to PC because I've got it on PC. I just don't play it, so I might be joining on with that. Uh, I wish I could cast and... it, but I can't. I'm depressed. <laughs> uh, could you? Yeah, no, you probably couldn't cast. Um, yeah, I think it would add a new change. That's gonna be a problem with the casters because I think. That we're gonna get, we need to get in a lot more casters if we're gonna do that, and there's also a problem out of casters. Mhm. Okay. Uh, yeah, do the sign up link or message pad if you want to become a caster. Yeah. 
Um, so, what actually, else Watchpoint is looking for casters, so if you want to be a caster, please message Blame the Pads. Gotta throw that in there. Okay, mm. so next on the agenda is the new patches that have been recently... Well, emphasis on uh, not... It's not really that recent, but emphasis on that. I'm only gonna go over uh, some of the big ones. So, um... Uh, Bob is not immune to sleep darts, which a lot of people think is a little, is a little bit OP, because that's probably, uh, one of the biggest counters to Bob, but it's either EMP, yeah. or a couple others, maybe deflect, uh, the dodging method, that could work, Yeah, too. for, for the sleep dart, I think that Bob is now much stronger, I think it's gonna be hard to stop, because... Mm-hmm. They, the sleep doll was one of the main ways, just an ability you could throw out and just stop Bob. And Anna's quite big in the meta, so we'll mm-hmm. see how that changes stuff. So, yeah, uh, you, you'll you see uh, Anna in like most of games on both teams because she is she's strong, she is strong, yeah. So, I think we're gonna move on because that's like really one of the only. Diva's boosters have been decreased from three, uh, or increased, I think, the cooldown from three to four. Soldier got a... Soldier got oh, yeah. a buff. Uh, Soldier's got a huge buff, wasn't it? It was like, mm-hmm. his missiles... Uh, uh, yeah, his helix rockets did yeah. more damage and its cooldown got reduced. Yeah. Uh, Sombra be... got a ph- ph- phenomenal buff. Like, her spread reduced by 10%. I've yeah. been hitting, cause I'm a Sombra main. I've been hitting, like, 15 times more shots. Easy. Gonna be interesting that. Um, so suggestions for Overwatch. I'm gonna go onto the suggestions channel quickly. Have a look at some of them, and I'll read some of them out. Um, I'm going back a while here because I haven't looked at my suggestions in ages. So, co-captains get. I think that's already um yeah been implemented. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm trying to see the ones which Pad hasn't answered already. That's very good. Um, so there could be a bot to know what SR people have on Discord. We've already got that one. Oh, we haven't got that one pretty much, have we? Pug tournament with 16 teams, not in the Overwatch, uh, in Watchpoint League. And two of each tier can be on the same team. That could be interesting, to be honest. So... I'll read out the full suggestion. Pug Tawny with 16 teams, not in the Watchpoint League, and two of each tier can be on a team, and there's four captains per team. No, I'm saying, like, no, uh, I did that tier. suggestion not to flex. Uh, like, so when I'm, when I'm thinking of there's 16 teams, and there's four captains, there's four tier four captains, four tier three captains, four tier two captains, four tier one captains, and they all draft from everybody, from everybody in the league, that wants to sign up, they just click uh, something and they're immediately like uh, put in like, and they have something that says drafted, so like or like free agent or something. So they everybody gets just gets drafted different to different teams. They have a week to set everything up, and then they immediately just uh, play games every single week. I think that'd be good for like a summer event, that, like when people nobody has school. I think I don't think people understood it. Like I didn't really understand it originally, but now you've described it to everyone here. That sounds like a really good idea, and that whole draft system, it might be hard to do, but if that, if we can pull that off, that is a really nice idea and suggestion. So that all the captains get into a group, they all pick one player at a time. Mm-hmm. And, and they, like, make, draft. like, team names, like, it, if yeah. if I was one, I would, like, go with my esports team that I created, like, uh, Spark Esports. I would, like, choose that, that would be my name, and, like, I would put Spark Esports draft. Uh, at poison, something like that. So many suggestions are really annoying because it's just fitting out. Um, Ben OGE, I mean OGC, best suggestion ever. <laughs> Make everybody friends on the server. Um, update cards some rules, that's already happened, that's good, that's been approved. Spam channel, where we can do it legit, whatever you want. 
OGC has the best suggestions, but the worst suggestion suggestions. It's it's funny. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Aiden's select roles. Haven't, yeah, make sure they select them. That's good. Um, let's have a look at some of the approved ones. Co captains, yeah, that, that's been approved. And yeah. so I think we're gonna. I think a lot of them have been approved on tonight. So yeah, let's move on now. Quite soon. Yeah, we're gonna go into the unanswered questions. So we're gonna start off at the uh. Uh, Sweaty Hansa One Trick says, "Who do you think will win the Tier Two games?" I have no clue. I'm rooting for Mystic Pandas. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know much about Tier Two. Sorry, guys. Um, is Ace's tank line up overrated? Uh, I'm not gonna speak about this because I'm a cast. Mm. That could be controversy on my doorstep, but so uh, I'm gonna. And I'm headcaster. So yeah, I'm I'm headcaster. So I'm gonna leave that over to Poison. <laughs> oh come on, man! Throw me under the bus. <laughs> Um, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to answer this. I uh, would say it's overrated. I'd say it's, it's a good lineup. Is it overrated? It's, okay. it's, it's good. Nah, it's good. I play for the team as well, so I'm going to be biased. You can accept that, guys. But, yeah, I think they do a really good job of what they do. But, are they overrated? I'll say not really. I think they're very good. <laughs> Nothing else I can really say. Right. What do you think? Sure, and I'm biased, and you've seen some of their matches. Uh, I'm going to have to say, you know, basically what everybody else is doing, except they're yeah. and they run it more aggressively because they're aces, and it's ran by Blame. No, it's actually not ran by Blame the Fat. I should realize that. Well, it is kind of. It kind of is. Well, yeah. <laughs> He's kind of on it. Um, anyway, more questions. Um. Best chocolate bar and why? Hmm. Hershey's cookies and cream. Don't at me. Oh, you're American. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, say that. Oh yeah, you're American. Ah, uh, you got to go. Oh, I'm, whatever I say, you just gonna be like, "What is that?" No, no. But no, all my no, UK I'm... guys can agree. Hold up. A what Twix. Is it? A Twix. Ooh. Do you have them? Is that that's how we do. We do. <laughs> okay, yeah, Twix is a... So, yeah. I have never... I don't want to say... I've had a Twix, but I was like seven, so I don't remember. I'm 13 yeah, now. they're pretty so, good. So... <laughs> uh, what do you think of Apocalypse? We pretty much answered this, but... Yeah, they're going to be... We think they're going to be good, but we haven't seen enough of them. Mm, I agree. Um... Uh, did Colomar throw by kicking Poxel Chan? No. Um... Uh, Ward answered that question. So, that's yes, all the uh, questions so far. And if you do put questions in here, most likely it would be answered by next week's lineup, which is unknown so far. So, um... What we else have, have we got next left? Next on the lineup do? is Poison Talks About Diva. I am a sweaty diva man. Square up. So, with Diva, if you're learning Diva. I do, in fact, recommend that you play a bit more aggressive. Like, if you're very passive, if you're, like, a healer main and you want to, like, stay behind your team, don't do that. So, D.Va, basically, you can either you can play it three different ways. You could play uh, Damage Dealer D.Va, which j- you just get your ult really fast and put your uh, ult in decent places. You can play uh, Flanker D.Va, or you can play Boop D.Va. So, Flanker D.Va uh, is... You just uh, flank around, do damage, so then the enemy team will look at you, and your team can get a quick speed. But if you're playing Boop Diva, then you uh, rotate to, like, if anybody's on the high, high ground and you need them down so your team can get an easy kill, then you find, like, uh, some places that are not, they can't see, then you go in, you boop them off with your rocket, and then you go back and you just lay down fire. But if there's people coming behind you, then you can just lay down fire on them, distract the team while your team gets those kills. Uh, you can also uh, combo, like, if you're playing Boop Diva with Lucio, but that's a whole different story. So, um, if you like, if you want to get better at Diva, like more, then play really aggressive. Like by really aggressive, I mean just charge at people, use your rockets and your defense matrix, which the defense matrix I'll get into next. But you want to like use your like you want to be 
So watch your positioning. That's all I'm going to say right now, because that's, like, the most I could say. But as soon as you get d just crouch spam and straight. That's all you need to do, because you're, you can take out a Bastion, and your, uh, your mech will be down, like, 80. And you get, like, 2% on your mech every, like, 1.5 seconds. So, but, so, yeah, just play aggressive if you're trying to learn D.Va. But if you're like a really good diva, then work on your self destruct placements because uh, my I'm decent at diva. I can do really good damage. And I know I know where to uh, rocket boost and defense matrix. But uh, self destruct placements, I can get one or two if the Ryan Shield is down. But potato potato. Um. And- yeah, I might say something on diva right now. I think that the, when playing diva, one thing you need to do is. Try combo ults. Mm. You, you just gotta... Ults are a big part of it. Oh, no doubt. Cosmo. Hello? My thing lagged. Okay. So, if he's not here, Cosmo, your thing lagged out. Alright, so, back to D.Va. Cosmo lagged out, so... I lagged gonna... out. <laughs> okay, yeah, you did lag out. I was so confused. I was like, did Cosmo lag out, or is that just me? I was like, is he talking right Yeah, now? so, uh, where, where did I get up to? Uh, you said... I completely forgot what you said. Okay, D.Va's ults are good. I'll just get over it. They can basically win any match. If you combo ults with uh, Zarya, then that can easily just... If you just get 5Ks every time, you can pretty much... Against mm-hmm. plat, you, and yeah, you can win you. you can combo with uh, Just... Z- Zarya May. Uh, you can kind of combo with Anna. Um, yeah, you can, com- you can combo so. with you can combo with a lot of different people, but uh, it just depends on your placements mm-hmm. and positioning. And Where you do it, it from? Yeah. Yeah. And if you like, do it right in front of the team, make it obvious. You're not going to get as many second easy dip, but. If you come from behind or somewhere is flanking and being aggressive, then you're doing good. Mm-hmm. So, um, moving on, we're going to be talking about defense matrix. Now, defense matrix is very hard to utilize. Um, you can use it in many different ways. You can use, like if you're by yourself and like you see an on a go to sleep start, use your matrix. A lot of um, you uh, like defense matrix is reaction times and when to use it. That's it. Because but when... also, defensive defense matrix is probably one of the best abilities in the game. Oh, it is. It's pro. How many times have you seen an Overwatch League match where you have an amazing diva and they eat the Zarya's grab? And it oh, is yeah. amazing. Who was it that was playing yesterday? That was playing as uh, diva. I can't. I can't remember. But uh, who was it? They just eat the Zarya's grab. It's amazing to see. And if if it can eat so many ults, which I'm sorry, but for a cooldown of how... I, I don't even know what it is. It's like five I seconds or something. Yeah, it's like three seconds plus... Three it has seconds to or something. Yeah. Okay, three seconds. For a cooldown that much, it can eat a male. It can eat a Zarya ult. It can eat anything where it has to be thrown down. So it ha- if it's thrown, Diva can eat it. And to me, that is insane. There's nothing else to say, really. Yeah, because it can, like... I forgot their name, but uh, they ate a Tracer ult and a May ult, and if those hit the ground, it was on the uh, royalty Pulse push. Form and stuff. Yeah. It was on the royalty push on Hollywood yesterday. The same push. If, but if those would have landed, it would have killed, like killed and weakened a couple people, and mm-hmm. like all it takes is a defense matrix flick. 
to get it. Like, if you're wanting to learn um, how to defend Matrix, watch Fury, uh, who was on the line in Spitfire. Just, like, go to YouTube, type in Fury OW or Fury, Fury Defense Matrix, and just watch how he plays his positioning. Yeah. And that's There's all, also a like lot of guides on YouTube. Just mm-hmm. If you look up any of the pro players, they will have guides up mm-hmm. for how they played it. So, if you're interested, go on. I know you, you probably, a lot of you watch Overwatch League. You all have a favorite team, I'm guessing. So go on to there. If you have a favorite player in that team, look up how he plays his style. If you like it, then imitate it and use it, and it'll help so much. And I used it for um, a very controversial player. So I'm Do not going to... No, I'm not a player. Fashion. I mean, a Overwatch League player. I used oh. it for a controversial Overwatch League player. Um, he's not part of the Overwatch League anymore. Oh, I was going to say Sinatra, yeah. Yeah, he's not part of the Overwatch League anymore. For a reason, of course, he did controversial. Oh, it's fine! No, it's not. No, oh, you carry on guessing. But it's not. I was going to say Pine. Yeah, it was a bit... Uh, yeah. Hmm. So, I think that's it. And we're going to be moving, rolling straight into the outro, which Cosmo is going to do. Okay, alright guys. Um... Thanks for listening to this. Uh, we'll hope to see you again next week. I think there's going to be a podcast next week, which Pad is going to be part of. Um, shout out to Ice Breadstick for donating ten pound and Sharp for donating five pound. That was that'd be very uh, like, helpful for this Discord to grow. And see you again next week. Hopefully, goodbye.